Today I'm going to demonstrate how to do two color printing with the Ultimator S3. I'm going to generate the UFP file that, alt that the Ultimaker needs in order to actually print in two colors. And so we'll get started. Uh, I'll start up Blender. Get Blender going. Delete the default cube in Blender. And then we'll go over here and load uh, the STL file that I want to use as the basis of the uh, object to print. And uh, okay, so this is the base object. And now we'll bring in the the second color, the letters for the cap, and we'll go and uh, get the letters import. And then now what you have to do is you need to subtract the letters from the base object. So you select the base object, and you go over and you add a modifier, and you do a boolean modifier. And in this case, you want to do a difference. So I'll select the letters as the object, and then apply the difference. And then we can delete the letters, because they're no longer needed. And now we'll save this object back out with the holes in it uh, as an STL file, so we export STL, and uh, we want to put it back, back down here in the oh, same folder that I created it in, and so we'll just call this. Sue minus. And we want to export as ASCII. Okay. And we quit um, Blender. Don't save. And now you select the uh, SU minus, which is the, f the file that Blender created. And we open it with the. Um, Ultimaker Cura app open. And it takes a little while to load here. And so there's the there's the cap with the hole in it for the letters. And so now we'll add the letters. Uh, open file. Add the letters. Open. And then we're going to uh, go over here and select the, uh, oops, select PLA, oops, PLA black, and the correct nozzle for the black. Okay, and then we select the lid and make it green, and we select the letters and make them black. And then you can merge. Okay, so you select both objects and then tell it to merge. 
merge models. It merges the models, but it screws it up and puts it below the surface. So you have to uh, go over here and lay flat on the surface. Takes it a while to do that. I don't know why, but. <laughs> there it's, it's laid the object flat on the surface and then you just uh, slice it okay and then you can do a preview and so there you have it it's all all set up to do two color Two color, two color printing with the sue in one color and the label and the rest of the lid in another color and so you just do the save to disk and so it'll save it as a UFP file which the, can be moved with a USB drive to the uh, printer and so that's basically all there is to printing in two colors with the Ultimaker S3.